I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Bell & Ross Instrument Black BRO194 Chronograph. You can see and you can purchase this instrument-inspired chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. And please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this automatic winding sports chronograph. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this is probably the only viable solution. A cushion case and short cropped lugs for wearing a 46 millimeter timepiece on my 16 centimeter wrist. Now I'll also mention, even if your wrist is as small as 15 centimeters, the ergonomic solutions determined by Bell & Ross mean that this watch will fit securely and with a good sense of proportion. Effectively, the watch is as tall as it is wide. So 46 millimeters from corner to corner, and I have to say, an eminently manageable 55 considering the profiling of the lugs from lug to lug. This is an excellent ergonomic solution to the immensity of an instrument style timepiece. IWC take note. Now the watch is thin. I should mention only 12.5 millimeters thick. It easily slides underneath a dress cuff even if the style perhaps suggests that the watch is more likely to be worn over coveralls. Nevertheless, it is a handsome watch with its dominant black tones and white accents such that you could wear this with formal attire. And again, the size of the watch being so contained within the dimensions of the case, it has no inclination to flare beyond the edge of your wrist such that it seems quite tidy even though it's an immense timepiece by sheer physical area. This is a lot of wrist real estate but beautifully shaped. Now you'll note that the strap does pull straight down. Those lugs are short cropped and they terminate almost as soon as the case does. So you just pull the strap straight down around a smaller wrist. The fit is outstanding. The strap is also broad. On a watch this wide, Oftentimes watch brands make the mistake of fitting narrow lugs and a narrow strap. The result can be a watch that wants to torque. Bell & Ross realizes that a broad case deserves broad lugs and a broad strap. And for good measure you can see that the strap is actually contoured to the nook created by the lugs. So it closes the flank of the case with very little daylight visible. It's an extremely coherent and integrated design. Now there's a molded in character line that tapers and differentiates the top of the rubber. And on the underside there's a broad relief pocket that allows sweat, moisture, grit, and heat to escape the wrist on a hot day or during periods of activity. And in classic sports watch style, there's a broad, easily adjusted pin buckle for quick on-the-fly adjustments. Now the case is stainless steel and DLC, so this is muted in the fashion of Bell & Ross's instrument style watches, which are all more or less inspired by analog instruments pulled straight from the flight deck of 20th century aircraft. Now the first instrument watch from Bell & Ross, which has really come to define the brand, debuted at Basel World 2005, and you can see this is a direct descendant, albeit in chronograph form. Again, black and matte finished like the cockpit flight deck of an aircraft. The theme continues on the dial. Flanked by the four signature bolts, you can see plain common sense, easily read calibrations in white on matte black to eliminate glare. You can see likewise that there is countersink to the sub-registers so you can visually distinguish them from the plane of the dial quite easily. And to date being a convenient feature for the office but not necessarily necessary on the flight deck itself. The date is discreet at 4.30, blending in. It disappears when you don't want to see it accessible when you do. Now the watch has a rather spectacular nighttime aesthetic thanks to the extraordinary amount of Luminova applied. I don't often do loom shots but this watch warrants it. Give me a moment while I kill the lights. And now you can see that the Bell & Ross instrument watch is just as distinctive with the lights off as it is with the lights on. Moreover, it lives up to its billing as a hardcore utilitarian timepiece that nevertheless has luxury levels of fit, finish, and design conception. Of course, everything you need, nothing you don't. This is as iconic as any sports watch of the modern era. And once again, good design often emphasizes simplicity rather than elaboration. Very few watches are equally identifiable at night as they are in the light and the Bell & Ross Instrument Series is a proud member and a card-carrying charter member, I might even say, of the modern luxury watch class of unmistakable nighttime timepieces. Let there be light. Now the details include an automatic 2894 caliber, so it's a modular chronograph, bi-directional winding, 42 hour power reserve. It's encased with a screw-down crown that when fully threaded out, 
allows you to manipulate its functions, including hacking seconds such that you can stop the seconds and synchronize to your flight timer or simply an internet atomic clock. Moreover, it features an intermediate setting position in which you can cycle the date window at 4.30. A vertical clutch chronograph system allows the chronograph to start without jump and stop without stagger while always resetting precisely to the index at 12 and because it's a vertical clutch you can simply leave it running with no additional hazard to the movement and again screw down crown and 100 meter water resistance means that this flight inspired timepiece is nevertheless also suitable for seaplane pilots you can see and you can test fly this Bell & Ross BR0194 black chronograph on our website